I think on top of that, what what seems to plague this team the most come the Stanley Cup playoffs? Can you answer that? Not to put you on the spot. Um, you know, defending, keeping the puck out of their net, and team defense, Wrong. goaltending. It's kind of no, eh? Incorrect. Scoring Incorrect. goals. That's the yes, exactly. Like that's a misconception. Uh, misconception. Sorry, I'm not putting you on the spot there, but I think it is a misconception that this team can't get the job done defensively. Like to me. The bigger story the last couple of years specifically has been the inability to score that big goal. And with that in mind, yeah. I'm going big game hunting. I'm a gambler. I'm putting all the chips to the middle. Kyle Dubas is a lame duck GM. His job could be on the line, is on the line. I think you go after a big boy. There's a guy in Vancouver, the captain, Bo Horvat, man. He would look perfect in this lineup, Rosie. I know there's optics. I know the salary cap plays a factor. Alex Kerfoot likely has to be part of a deal. There's got to be some assets going the other way, you know, bigger type trade chip piece type trade. But I, I'm doing my best to, to to get this roster ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs and to get past the first round and to go on the long run here. And Bo Horvat's a guy I'd look at. Ryan O'Reilly, if St. Louis is out of it. Uh, if you're looking at, you know, at a guy with term, Timo Meyer, the San Jose Sharks, I'm going big game hunting. I'm not adding a depth piece. They did this a couple of years ago with Nick Foligno instead of Taylor Hall. How did that work out, right? Like, I know... I know hindsight's twenty twenty, but I think you only get select shots of this thing. I'm going all in this year, Rosie. Yeah, it sounds like it. <clears throat> hey, I don't mind it, man. Like, can you imagine the splash that would make after all this going through the last couple of years and then injecting a piece like Bo Horvat or or Ryan O'Reilly? Like, uh, that's a big that's a big thing to do. And my question is obviously, you know, you're going to have to give up what for that? Uh, if you go down the pipeline and think about the future. Yeah. Um, draft picks, big time draft picks. I mean, that's always a, a scare Robertson. for a GM. You know that when you let these first round guys go, you're like, who is that always going to be forever? I'm going to be the guy that let go of this pick. And you don't know what that's going to end up being. Could be some generational type phenomenal player with a 18 year career. All of a sudden that's the risk, but mm -hmm. you know, injecting some big boy into that lineup and not giving up too many pieces up on the top end. I do realize that once I started saying that is the knock on them, but I remember watching the playoffs going, Jesus, like, where is the fireworks? Like, we need someone just to take that goddamn thing and score the big one, and they just skate in sand and skate around the outside and the perimeter and, and just can't get it done. And it's like, wow, after all this firepower and talking about these guys being so explosive, we can't buy a goal in the last, you know, 10, 12 minutes of a game when you're down one. It just doesn't happen, and you just lost. I know that feeling as well, so... I mean, if this is the year, that'd be interesting to see the, you know, Dubas go out fishing that way and, and bring in some monster splash. It would be really shake things up, man, and give us something to talk about. That's for sure.